Today is Good Friday, 2023, and I wanted to share a poem that I wrote called Easter Mornings Are Experienced Every Day. Devastation, heartbreak, sadness, and sorrow, how they must have cried. Who? Those early disciples on the day that Jesus was beaten, mocked, and crucified. How could this have happened? How could Jesus actually die, they would ask. We saw him heal so many, the sick, diseased, blind, deaf, even demons we saw him smash. We even saw him raise Lazarus, a widow's son, and a young girl from the dead. The miracle signs, wonders performed, was he not the promised Messiah, the scriptures have said? Now it was all over, after all those years of following him, Jesus no longer in sight. These must have been the thoughts and fears that Friday, horrible crucifixion night. Morning that Sabbath Saturday after his unjust death, all the fearful sorrow, it must have been hard for one to catch their breath. Maybe you have felt, maybe you have felt similar in your life at the low times where you feel stuck, hurt, addicted, depressed in this broken world with all these unjust crimes. Maybe you even dread the start of a new week as those women did 2,000 years past as they went to mourn some more that Sunday morning thinking they were saying their goodbye, their very last. Yet, what they encountered was not what they had imagined. The stone removed? The sill broken? What was this they had just examined? Oh, the confusion, wonder, and joy those disciples must have felt seeing the risen Savior as their fears, doubts, and sadness all began to melt. Christ rose from the dead. The tomb where his body lay was empty for the world to see. It was just as Jesus has it was just as Jesus said, you will not perish, but will have eternal life. Believe in me. Jesus is alive today. After what seemed to be the depressing ending, this is the gospel the good news that all my life I will be sharing. I experienced an Easter morning myself, you see. When broken and at my lowest and wanting to end it all, I prayed desperately. I still don't fully understand that love that out of nowhere came to me. But in the middle of my addiction and brokenness, Jesus set me free. I am not alone. This isn't rare. It happens every day. When someone turns to Jesus and experiences the life, truth, and way. So if you feel broken, depressed, useless, unworthy, or sad, then remember, this resurrection good news is available to make you glad. Seek, study, and believe that Jesus, in fact, did rise from the dead. By your mouth, shout out, Jesus is Lord. Let this confession be said. Surrender it all to the foot of the cross where Jesus was crucified, for that is the only place where we can, before God, be justified. So on Easter, remember, it's a celebration of that Resurrection Sunday. Let's celebrate together what Jesus did and give him thanks as we pray. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to the cross to die for my sin and for raising him from the dead so over death we have the win. Thanks for showing us the way, truth, and life to be with you and for a day to celebrate this Easter message of resurrection that is true. Amen.